Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, now we're recording. I'm here with uh, Natalia from the Ukraine. I'm Kevin Hello. from Tokyo. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm going to show Natalia a couple of, uh, well, actually just one, but uh, as a lead-in, I'm going to explain a couple of things. Do you know what a concordancer is? It's no, a, no, it's a I'm little sorry. bit. What it does is it searches through a, a big database of sentences in English, and it pulls out a word. I'm going to go over to Screen Share, and I'm going to show you a software that does that. Okay. Okay. I'm all ears. All right. Okay. And can you see my screen now? Yes, your email, your Gmail. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now this uh, at LexTutor uh, uh, Canada is mm -hmm. one of the websites that's used for research, and uh, what's called a concordancer is something that is a little bit. Let's say, for example, we put in the word "obviously," mm -hmm. and then we search. There's many different. Uh, where is it? And get concordance there we go can you see this very well do i need to make it yes the video is very nice thank you okay so it what it does is picks out sentences that have the word obviously uh or paragraphs you can see that many times obviously begins at, is the beginning of a sentence but all of mm -hmm. these are different uh, examples of how to use obviously now this is a nice tool for people to look at language, uh, but it's really hard to use. So what I do with my students, I use something a little bit different. Uh, obviously. So, the source. Yes. And let me make that a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. No, yeah, I, I have, uh, yes, that's okay. okay. I see it, but I don't understand. It's another resource, yes? Yes, this is another score. It's called uh, Sketch Engine, mm -hmm. uh, and it's called Scale. Mm -hmm. And if you look on Google, you can find that. Now, this is a very simplified uh, concordancer. Again, it does the same thing as the other one, but it's... Uh, picks out more common sentences, more like sentences that students and normal people would use. Mm -hmm. So you can see the different uses of obviously in there, for example. Now, the tool that I wanted to show you is actually what it does is the same thing this does for text as for video. This is called Uglish like English for YouTube, okay? So if I put in the word obviously, for example, and you can search by different act or different countries, but let's just say any country, obviously. What it does is pulls up many, many, it pulls up many different uh, YouTube videos that have the word obviously. In it, so this is in minute fourteen twenty of twenty minutes. He says the word obviously, and I'm going to go back. But I can't hear uh, what is he talking about. Uh, so that's the thing. You can, you're in the middle of a speech, so you don't know very well. You can listen longer if you like, but uh -huh. you can. The best. I, I, I don't. I don't uh, hear him at all. That's right. But, oh. Let me let me try one more here. There is no sound. No sound. Oh. No sound because you you are using your headphones maybe. Oh, okay. Let's see. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, you can try it out though, uh, and what you can yes, do, I will try you can see, and you can go from one video to another. And another one, and another one. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry it didn't come through in the demonstration, but yeah, the you can listen as well, and then of course you can go back five seconds or go uh, repeat the the same thing. Mm -hmm. 
uh, and you can see many different ways each word is used. So in essence, you get two tools. You can do something a little bit more like poker face. You know poker face? No, I don't. That's when you're playing poker and you have uh -huh. a really good hand or a really bad hand, you want to keep a very straight face. Ah, yes. That's I called see. poker face. So not, not to read you, my face, yeah? <laughs> it's the opposite of your face, yes. You do not have a very good poker face, okay? <laughs> So he's yes. trying to put on his poker face. You're trying to put on your poker face and failing, for example. Yeah, but you can also do the same thing here with Uglish. And even you can get longer sentences. And, and again, I'm sorry you can't hear that, but uh, that's the tool. And uh, I get my students as part of their vocabulary study to mm -hmm. use uh, both of these to uh, get uh, Scale for text and Uglish for audio and video so mm -hmm. that they can study certain words and how, how, the, how they fit into co different conversations. Okay? Yes, very useful, very interesting tool because, thank you. Thank you so much for your presentation. Yeah. I didn't know about the resource. <laughs> okay, good. 